Hey developers! Today we're going to look at Parcel, which is a blazing fast zero configuration web application bundler. A lot of people are talking about this, so I thought I would go ahead and do a quick video on it and also talk a little bit about how you can work with Vue.js and Parcel and a few cool things you can do with that. Um, by the way, uh, Udemy is having some great sales going on very soon, very shortly, so I would check out some of the links below. You can check in my description. I have some of my favorite courses, so if you guys are looking for that, uh, check that out and make sure you click that little subscribe button, and then if you really like it, click that bell button. That way you'll be notified every time I create a video. So let's see here. How do we install this parcel? So if you guys are familiar, there's something called Webpack out there, and Webpack is a way you can add in dependencies and it bundles everything for you it does code splitting a bunch of things but you do have to create this configuration file and for those of us who aren't into webpack it sometimes can become complicated to do everything you want to do that's why so many tools nowadays have their own cli that does everything for you like Vue cli react cli angular cli ember cli so this is kind of a nice fresh way of doing things, especially if you want to quickly prototype something. So if you click here, get started, tells you how to install it. You can obviously use Yarn or NPM. I haven't made the Yarn move yet. I know a lot of people have. It's just a little bit better. But uh, I'm going to continue with my NPM for now. By the way, I have the latest version of Node installed. If you look, Node dash version, uh, Node dash dash version. I have 9.3.0. I noticed that older versions of Node, uh, you may have some problems with Parcel, so beware on that. So if I go npm install tacg parcel hyphen bundler, that will install the bundler for me. I have already done that. And so let's go and create a project. So we're gonna go npm init. I'm just gonna hit enter all the way through here. I don't care, yes. All right, you can see here in my Atom, we have our package.json file, nothing's happening there. So let's first install one dependency that I think might be interesting. Let's do M let's clear this. We'll do npm install babel preset env, and then we'll do tac dash dev. And so this installed the npm babel preset for us. And so that way we don't have to worry about transcoding everything. All right, so we went ahead and added Babel as the preset. Now, if you look at the official website and you go to slash recipes, you can take a look here and see that, uh, well, I should say Babel recipes. If we go here to this recipes.html, you could see it already has recipes for React and Preact doesn't have anything for Vue. So we should see, um, hopefully, there is a couple tools for Vue that I'll, I'll show you today, and that'll be cool once we get that working. Um, you can also see that it has a section on transforms, and it tells you right here, so you can, after you add the Babel preset env, you can go ahead and create this Babel RC file. So let's do that. We'll do new file, dot Babel RC, and we'll copy and paste. We'll save it. So basically, at this point, this should be up and running for us. So let's create a new file. It's called index.html. And I'm just going to do HTML5. And that was just a little Emmet magic there. So now we have our doc type. We have our document here. We'll just call it test parcel with view. And I'll show you the basics here. So We'll just do an h1 tag here, and we'll do a hello world. And let's go ahead and add a script. We'll put the source here, and that will equal, we'll call, we'll call an index.js file here. And now we're going to go ahead and create an index.js file. So the nice thing about Parcel, as we'll find out here in a second, is that we can actually use either CommonJS or ESX import. So let's go ahead and use an ESX import, and we'll create a new file here. So let's import, I don't know, we'll import hello from dot slash hello. And then just to see if we're working, we'll do a console.log 
and we're going to create this in a second. So we'll call it hello dot hello world, and we'll call it. <coughs> All right. So now that we got hello dot hello world, let's create our hello file. So we'll create a new file, we'll call it hello dot js, and we'll export const. We'll call it hello. And inside this file right here, we'll go ahead and we'll have our hello world function and we'll return hello world. So we'll go back to index.html, index.js, so it should display. Now to get parcel working, we're going to run parcel and then index.html. And you can see it builds really quickly, 1.53 seconds. Not that we had much, but now we can go in and run localhost, one, two, three, four. You see here's a hello world. If we look inside our console and we go to console, you see here it is, hello world. So perfect, that's what we needed there. We had a little device width issue here, but that's, not okay. that's fine. So hello world, we have uh, going so we could see our ESX imports are working. We don't have any problems with it. I guess we could do something a little bit more fancier. Oh yeah, so right here we never set the device width on it. Um, we could have done that, but we didn't. So you can do like I don't know, three hundred. So, uh, so let's do a button here. Uh, we'll go ahead and do button. We'll put ID equals BTN, press me. And then inside our index.js file, we'll just, we'll just do some basic uh, JavaScript here. You'll do document dot get element by ID. We'll call button, we'll add an event listener, we'll add it to the click event, and then we'll add a function here. So we'll just do this. So can you see it? Yeah, we're running out of space here on the screen. Let's see here. And then from here, we'll just do console.log and then we'll put in the hello.hello world and it'll be as simple as that. So we'll save it, refresh it. So if you press, you can see here on the console, it's getting incremented every time we press it. So this really simple that we can access our ESX, ESX import here, which is cool. So let's talk about view. So let's go ahead and cancel this. So let's say we wanted to add view in. So we can do npm install vuejs a Okay. So we import it in. So let's run. We'll go ahead and run again parcel on our index.html. So instead of, we can go back to our index.js file. So we can actually do this. We can import, uh, we'll import view from, and then if we look inside the folders, it's disk slash view. So yeah, if we look in the package noted mode modules and we go down to view, you can see here there's view and then a dist folder and then view.js. So it's there. So that's what we're basically doing. We're just importing it in from the node modules. And then we can do the same thing we've always done before. We can, uh, we can do new view. We can put an entry point, which we'll put an app. And let's just do a data function. We'll just return some random message. Return, I don't know, yo, hello from view. We'll save it. We're going to get an error because we don't have it set up here yet. But we can go ahead and right here, put div with an ID of app 
and then inside here we can put in our yo so we'll save it refresh it so now we've got our hello from view here and we could do some refactoring if we want to so instead of having it in here we could like I don't know create a computed property and then inside the computed property we can have something like message and that would return the uh, hello dot hello world we'll just delete this and then inside our index.html we can add a click event and have this equal the what we just created message and now we press it nothing happens so probably we'll actually instead we'll do it this will they will do it a method methods We can have it console.log to hello world message like this. You can see here with the method, it works fine. So that's one way of, of uh, doing it there with parcel. But you can see this is not much better than just using, uh, including the script tag at the top for view and then just importing in like normal. I mean, we get a little bit more functionality because we have we got ES6 out of the box with with what we're doing and we can also import our modules using ESX ES6 import but it still has some limitations so this is uh, another way of doing this so there is a package called parcel plugin view and this lets it do quite a few things and the most important thing is you can actually create .view files, which if you don't know, view.view .view is single file component. You have your .view in the whole file and it makes it a lot easier doing things. So let's, to get this working, we have to install a few things. First, we have to- Hey, for the sake of time, I went ahead and installed all the dependencies for you. So it says right here in the documentation what you need to do. Of course, you need the parcel plugin dash view and, and you will need greater than node eight to get this working. And it also tells you that you should install the Babel plugin transform runtime and the Babel preset ES2015 time, um, 2015. So you can see here my development dependencies. I have the Babel plugin transform. Um, you don't, you can't use the Babel preset ENV that we used earlier. That's just not going to work. You have to have this transform and you have to have the older Babel preset ES2015. Um, and then you, uh, one thing that kind of trips people up. You obviously you need to install the parcel, parcel plugin view, but you have to install parcel bundler as a development dependency. It has to be there. So if you don't have this development dependency, you'll get some weird errors. And so it, it says in here that you need it. Now this will give you, once you install these dependencies into your project, you you should be able to create single file dot view components. Now there is some caveats if you want to use like coffee, less SAS, you're going to have to do some more configurations. You're going to have to create a view.config.js file, and you're going to have to put some custom compilers in there. Um, but we're not going to get into that today. We're going to, since this video is getting a little bit long, you can see here, this, here is where we're at right now. We can press, press me and we can see the hello world. So let's see if we can refactor this into a, a single file component. So our HTML isn't gonna change. We're gonna leave everything we have here, but we're gonna actually, well, we are gonna refactor this into its own view file. So let's go into index.js, and then inside the index.js file, we can, uh, we can go ahead and do something a little different. So instead of having this import here, well, let's before we do that, let's create a new file and we'll call it index.view. So this is going to be single file, um, single file component. So we're going to have template at the top. We're going to have a div in the middle here. We're going to put a script tag, and we're going to export default, 
and we're going to grab their index.html. We're going to grab all this stuff out. We just really need this button. Well, we'll do both of these. We're going to grab this. We're going to copy it into our index view file. And we'll 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 stick with this. We'll make this h1 and we'll still have this yo here. And we'll do we'll just copy and paste it from our index.js file. We'll have this we'll just copy and paste all this here. Edit copy good next.view. So here it is. We have our data, we have our methods. Everything matches up. So pretty simple. But now it's in one file. And now we're going to go index.js. So we're going to go ahead and delete all this. We don't need it. And we're going to import index from our new index file. Index. We call it capital index.view. And we're also going to import view from view. Oh, one thing else we need to do is hello. We can put it back into the here. Export. We can do this. So that way we have access to it. And then here we just do a new view, just like we did before. But this time we're going to use the render function. Now I did a video on the render function before. So you guys can check that out. This is uh, same thing as create element, but usually everyone uses just this h. Also use this h here, h index. So we're going to use the index we put in, and then we're going to have the entry point into app. So that is pretty much it. So let's see if that works. So I'm going to have to stop everything. I'm going to parcel index.html. OK, so we ran the parcel file. We're going to refresh it. So we have our hello world, hello world from view. And see, it works the same way. So now we can change this hello from single file component. Yep, so now we're using our single file component, which is really cool. And all we needed to do is add those few packages in. So thank you for watching. So that's a, just a quick primer how to use Parcel and I'll see how to use the Vue.js Parcel package. If you guys have any questions, uh, please, please leave a comment below. Thanks.